But this week I'm doing a little post for you on the things that I always keep in my pantry, in my fridge, and in my freezer that help me make healthy food really quickly. And sometimes when I don't have like a full plan that I always have things on hand to like throw stuff together. So I wanted to take you through and share a few of my favorite things that I always make sure that I keep stocked so I can do this. Honestly, like meal planning is great when you can, but like even for me, I don't always do it. Like things always get busy. So this is my way that I make sure that I just always have good stuff on hand that I can either throw in a crock pot, make a quick soup, um, throw things together for like a salad or smoothies. And so these are my favorite things I always have around. This is something I talk a lot about in the new cookbook. Um, of what things to keep in your freezer, in your fridge, and in your pantry so that you can like always, always, always have healthy meals that are like right there and ready to go. I need to give you guys a little sneak peek first. Okay, ready to come see my fridge? Just got back from a trip, so the fridge is a little bit more bare than usual, and um, I definitely did a little clean out, so don't feel bad about your own fridge, but this is a really great time to do a yearly, if not seasonally, uh, fridge clean out. Now you can kind of see like especially the staples and the stuff that I always have around even when we're gone when we come back from trips like this is where having everything stocked really helps out. Here we go. Our shelf we've got the bevies, um, sparkling water, a couple different types of kombucha, <laughs> a few different brands some have caffeine some don't, um, more sparkling water weird. I generally keep um, any type of like cereal stuff that's sprouted so i have some sprouted crackers some sprouted granola keep them in the fridge once they've been opened to keep them fresh and then here we have some of my lemon ginger tonic so this is lemon ginger and cinnamon sticks that i like steep i'll post the recipe for this but it's so good for immune season cold season flu season immune boosting all of it um coffee for kyle milk for noah and then um usually have some type of herb in here for soups sautés salads dressings um, this week it's parsley. I'm going to make the um, chicken vegetable soup this week. So if you keep a little bit of water in here, it actually keeps your herbs fresh. I would say not basil, but like parsley and cilantro, um, anything that's like a heartier herb is a really great idea to keep in the fridge like this. Up, we have some organic peanut butter. What's behind that? Oh yeah, some pizza sauce. Um, I generally do like the um, <clears throat> butternut squash, frozen pizza crust or cauliflower crust, but we've been doing that a lot lately. So that's there. Um, some forager cashew milk. Again, you just want to double check your, um, nut milks to make sure there's nothing weird. A lot of them have weird stuff. Um, this is baby food here. <laughs> some quinoa for Noah and for mixing in for different muffins and things and I'll probably use some on some salad um, or as like a little side dish. This I always have like a soup or something I've made in the instant pot. So this is the sausage and lentil soup from the second cookbook. Um, it's so so good. I know it probably doesn't look like much but we always have like a soup or something I can eat quickly for lunch um, or a quick dinner, top it with arugula, something like that. I've got some nut butter and some salsa. Something I can always use again like from chicken breast, frozen chicken breast into the crock pot, or we do Mexican salads or tacos. Just, it's just such a good thing to have on hand. Um, let's see, I've got some organic chicken here and we have some turkey burgers here for the week. Um, eggs, these are not usually the kind, the brand that I pick, but Kyle bought these. Thanks, babe. Um, but definitely free range and organic if you can. Um, even better is pastured, and that's what I've been doing for baby food. Uh, just being real, I get stuff that's pre-made, especially from stores like Whole Foods or PCC. So this is um, cauliflower and tahini, and then there's some meatloaf back here because I'm a working mom and things get busy and crazy, and so I just like to always have a few things that I know that I can eat without having to go out. Over here, these are some chocolate-covered hazelnuts that I found in the bulk section some gluten-free granola um, and then some cashews you'll see like down here I actually in this drawer keep all the nuts and seeds that are open I try to keep them in the fridge if possible um, just because they can spoil a little bit quicker so if you have the room and space for that that's just what I do it keeps them like nice and fresh so cashews I always use for pesto um, I do granola and or just a quick snack or <laughs> throw in smoothies and then here other you know some other kind of vegetable this is just like steamed cauliflower that I'll probably put some butter on and that will be a little Noah meal as well. 
so since it's fall, apples and pears are in season. I snack on these. I usually have at least one a day. Um, ginger, ginger root. Again, I make this awesome like tonic so i try to always keep some ginger root in here for teas it's also really great in curry um just gives a lot of flavor and it stays forever and then my little trader joe's favorites um steamed beets that are already pre-cooked and then they're steamed lentils as well so these are just like really nice to have to make stuff um just gives a lot of flavor and it stays forever and then my little trader joe's favorites um steamed beets that are already pre-cooked and then they're steamed lentils as well so these are just like really nice to have to make stuff quick and easy when you know you didn't prepare ahead of time there are my favorite little turmeric coconut wraps so these are the best to make with like arugula or some salad and some roasted turkey or chicken or leftover meat or avocado hummus whatever you have um a quick little lunch all gluten-free they're all made with like coconut and those nuts have turmeric in them as well so that's their fruit drawer right now For veggie drawer kind of hard to see because i just got these produce bags that are awesome i can link to these later um but that's kale i always use those for smoothies um a quick like stir fry to add greens to almost any meal we've got some zucchini i generally buy those every week um so that we can make zucchini noodles carrots i use in soups um, Brussels sprouts I will probably roast. I like to have these so I have the option of doing like roasted chicken with um, roasted vegetables. This week I'm going to do the chicken and vegetable soup. So I have celery, carrots, Brussels sprouts. So all these will kind of last for a long time. Um, and that is generally typically what our veggie drawer looks like. I showed you here the, the <laughs> nut drawer. Always chocolate. I prefer my chocolate in the fridge. Um, I don't know about you. I love mint chocolate the best. And then cheeses. I always have a big thing of Parmesan cheese. Um, and then we have mozzarella. Those two generally are the things that I happen to do the best with. So that's what I cook with the most. Um, that's usually true for most people when it comes to cheeses. Um, we have anchovy paste. So this is awesome for Caesar dressings. Um, let's see. We have some sardines these are for noah but they're also a really quick easy meal and um some wild smoked salmon other staples that i always keep um the primal kitchen mayo is a big one this dijon mustard we get at pcc but you can find one any extra strength dijon mustard is so good for dressings always have that on hand um we are big fans of organic maple syrup from thrive um also, you can find them other places, but you just want to make sure your maple syrup's always organic. I use those in bevies. We got a little, we got some um, Koki Americano. We have some like aperitifs that Kyle likes to keep in the fridge because it keeps them fresh. Um, my Dry Farm Wines Rosé over here. And then up here, I have flax seeds and chia seeds. So once these are open, I try to keep them in the fridge as well to keep them fresh. And then we've got all of the butter drawer. So generally just buy Kerrygold most of the time. Sometimes, well, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Uh, I buy this kind. So anything that's pasture-raised butter, um, grass-fed butter, is what you want to look for. On this side, we have like my supplements. So I keep the spirulina and chlorella in here. I also have some infant probiotics for Noah. Um, I keep my chlorophyll drops, and we have some trace mineral drops here. This is like my little shelf. And then um, I know I've shared this with you guys before, but this is like a dandelion root coffee. It's so good. Mm -hmm. um, my placenta. Hey, pretty sure you guys don't want that in your fridge. Um, and then fish oil that I take. And then we also have some CBD um, extract that I have been getting on Thrive and really liking so far. Here we have tahini, so for dressings and sauces. This one's from Trader Joe's, but I also get it on Thrive too. A uh, fruit juice sweetened jam um, that doesn't have extra sugar. Primal Kitchen, again, is a great brand for sauces. I think we have like, yeah, one of the other, other dressings here for just a quick salad dressing, even though I'm pretty much a fan of making your own. A clean hot sauce, more nut butter. Um, sunflower butter so I use these for all like baking and cooking or a quick snack on a banana or apples and just kind of always have those around and alternate them as best I can and then some sauerkraut which you always want to I love this Bubby's brand um, but you want to get the kind that is in the fridge that means it has the good bacteria still there 
um, and not like shelf stable. So same for that and pickles and some apple cider vinegar to use in dressings and then a clean ketchup. So meaning just one that doesn't have high fructose corn syrup. Hey okay, guys, I hope that was helpful. So at least for me, having these things around makes me feel better and way less stressed about food and cooking because I know that I always have like a quick and easy protein. If I have the smoked salmon in there or the sardines in there, or that I know that I have tahini, I could make a dressing or the apple cider vinegar, same thing. You know, quick and easy marinades um, for stuff that works and that you don't have to think about twice. So if this is helpful for you, I actually put together like a full checklist for you guys of everything keep in my fridge, in my pantry, and in my freezer that are my staples and things that make meal prep a million times easier and way less stressful. So if you want, go grab that now. Okay. And there's a whole section about this in the new book, not only about what to stock and having full checklists for everything, but then what to do with it, right? Like the recipes to then make from it, things you can throw together quick and easy. So lots for coming on that, but I just wanted to give you this free little resource because I think like this time of year is such a good time of year to think about cleaning things out, like getting rid of stuff you don't need, making sure you are kind of more on the real food train, reading your ingredients, and then stocking it full of things that you can actually use and that make things and life so much easier on yourself. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if this is something that you like seeing and you want to see more of these like behind the scenes. Maybe I can show you, I don't know, my pantry, the bevy closet. Let me know.